Oh God! Oh, no! 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 Get them off! No! Put them on even. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm Yoko the Tailspinner, and this. We're still vassals, slaves, slaves. We're just in prettier cages. Tales over coffee. Okay. We start the day with a narrative game and a cup of coffee in the hope of welcoming a blessed day. Good evening. So now to uh, not for broadcast. Continuing on up. Day 153. I gotta decide what I'm gonna do about this advanced government because I can promote them or condemn them. Good evening, Alex. It's Bozeman here, your boss. While you're powering up and getting the adverts loaded, I thought I should just tell you that we've had one of those public information films from the government, and it's mandatory that you play it. You still have a free choice for the other two. So read those tape labels carefully, but make sure you play the advance advert, preferably at the second break. Right, that's the lot. Have a great show, total pip. My god, that weather looks nasty. Uh, I tend to disagree with the way they're doing oh, things, but we're see? benefiting Why from them. So yeah, we, we definitely want Crazy Neil because we've got their stuff. I think we've got to promote the government Sorry, for now. And, uh... <laughs> The problem is a really awful date. Get your everybody. prostrate. Like I said, all of you. Did your personality actually slip out? Pricks. Going in five, <laughs> four, three. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. After three months of record-breaking approval ratings, could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? And what would that mean as we go into the future? I probably should have taken the other. Trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Sforsborg and Horgensbord and David Operation Wong announced no, operation today escape. that they're considering two Let's be optimistic about science. With two of the finest minds in science working together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to dry land. While both options are still on the table, support seems to be growing for a daring escape attempt. If a group of fungus experts can't fix the most advanced craft ever conceived by man, huh. then who can? Oil men. Half avoided, as the last Mr. Snugglehogs is found and destroyed, we ask, how could we have been so blind? Fortunately, this station wisely chose not to advertise Mr. Oh, it should be on her. and the subsequent disappointing sales turned out to be a miracle, as only seven children were horribly injured by the oh, lethal God. boy. How much worse could it have been? Thankfully, we'll never know. Julia Salt, who mobilised numerous government resources to recall the product immediately after the first blindings, said today that the new advance mark, which must be earned by all new products, would be a 100% ironclad guarantee of safety and quality. There you go, you see. Good sensible Johnny options. And Tiffany Lamour were spotted having a private moment out at We like him, the and she's okay. have certainly been on a roller coaster since they started dating late last year. And this image is sure to place them firmly back in the tabloids. Could we be on the verge of the biggest celebrity wedding since professional wrestler Randy Grizzlenuts McFridge married his longtime tag team partner Tina Tiny Hands last year <laughs> in a wrestling ring made entirely of cake? Why not? Is this one celebrated role model about to become the bad boy of sports? And radical ideas. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them, Remington's Fist CEO oh, she's an idiot. Remington today announced a surprising new project that already has the markets raising an eyebrow. Known for taking risks and bold strategies, could the adventurous CEO be leading the business through the earth. down a dark alley or taking it to a new level of success? We understand the Mobile Orientation Operational Borrowing Service will be a new international travel system based around the construction of a major tunnel through the centre of the earth. Sophia Remington claims it will make travelling from one side of the world to the other the matter of an afternoon. There you go. Geologists are concerned about the implications of digging a hole through the planet. Yeah, you reckon? While flat earthers claim it should be quite easy. <laughs> With that exclusive Prime Ministerial interview coming up later. And our very own Patrick Bannon live at the first annual sports board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National, National Nightly News. News. A 
of that bloody interference going on again. Tonight. Oh, While the dance is certainly proving popular with the majority of the country, who've seen their wealth and standards of living increase considerably, for some, the transition has not been as pleasant. That's right, Megan. The formerly aristocratic members of our society have had to make major adjustments to come to terms with the new regime. Robin Short is in suburbia investigating rumours that these previously privileged people may be planning some kind of protest. Robin? Oh, Thanks, Megan. I'm here in moderate hatchings to talk to Wentworth and Penelope Somerset Bentley, who were really here we go, more of this experience. after advanced past the Assets and Wealth Act on their first day in office. Here we Tell go. Me, how are you settling into your new lives? Well, quite frankly, Robin, we're not settling in at all. Our neighbours are white waters. Oh, it's simply untenable. I hope you'll forgive my language, but it's as steaming as a Wednesday hatch basket with too much spatting. Steady now, Penelope. Sorry, Robin, my sister's under a lot of pressure. She had to dress herself this morning and she still hasn't quite recovered, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, that must have been quite a shock. She really struggles with women's, Robin. <laughs> well, at least you've been rehoused in a nice big house. Big house? <laughs> And the breakfast room and the dining room in the same bloody place. Imagine that. I think all one's grub in one room. What room, Robin? So what would you say to the people that feel that your family has had it far too easy for far too long and that these redistributions are both fair and just? I hardly think we've had it easy for Fussell's sake. Only one of our swimming pools was even heated. But realistically, what can you do? Well, you've asked the right bloody question, Robin. Thank you, Wentworth. Okay. I wasn't ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Inquirer for no reason. Oh, it's not that, it's that. The butler was from Swinstead. Dear George, oh, I wonder what happened to him. I remember. Daddy tried to shoot him in the buttocks and he ran off into the woods. Oh, good time. Got that one. my last happy memory, Robin. And down we go. But what can you do? We will wise and rebel. We wage war on our revolting rulers with righteous words and rebellious writings. Our best guess in our quest for redress is to divest our breasts in an undress bare chest protest. Oh, what's that? Uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We can't show this on the news. Right, you fuckers. Tilly who? Good God. I've got a mister. Tilly's our mummy. She's proper cracked to too. Well, at least you are showing some shame. Free at last! Oh. That's, that's bad. See, the protest has started already. Nice sharp work, boy. Thanks, he gets that for me, you know. Uh, but, and forgive me, what are you trying to achieve here? We just want to be fudding well heard, that's all. Oh, language, Penelope. We are nude, not rude. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> we want the world to realise we won't roll over and run away. We will revolt! We will rise again! Yes, we bloody well will! And now they're cursing again, are they? Oh, it's not coming. Oh! Uh oh! Oh shit, he's got him in the dick! Well, he won't be much good as a button anymore. As this embryonic protest movement takes one in the top legs, it's back here in the studio. I've not been short, struggling surreptitiously in moderate hatchings. Okay, well, Thanks, Robin. Good good Robin. That's certainly a story we want to be keeping an eye on. Eh, Megan? Oh, I may suck this. Jeremy, but I've seen enough sharp work to last me a lifetime. I'm sure you have. Ooh! But uh, can a naked protest movement ever really catch on? It doesn't seem like the way we do things in this country. But as I'm sure you're aware, Jeremy, this country is becoming a very different place. Yes, but seriously. Who's going to run around naked in our weather? Yeah, that's true. Exactly not you, Jeremy. Yes, well, there wouldn't be enough canvas for the slogans. <laughs> uh, when we come back, <laughs> our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Finals. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. The A lined up. After these messages. One minute back. Oh, sorry, I'm busted. Wow. Oh. She's funny. Yes, I know. It's, it's getting tougher. 
Alex, Ethan, we're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final. Oh, Maybe wonderful. It's about. Try and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. No one wants to see fannies on the news. Bozeman out. I forgot what he said we have to do. Oh, be careful of the nudes. And to take a quick dog break there, unfortunately. Okay. Well, that's what it says. Yes, I understand that, but I always say welcome back. I think we should just keep it as it is. Well, of course you do. I've got one hack line. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I didn't write it, Jeremy. That's all right, <laughs> fine. Jenny, there's nothing wrong with the auto cue. Ten seconds. Oh, I just felt the drip again. Have they not fixed this? Uh-oh. Oh, oh. fine. It's good for the ratings. Five, four, three... Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. Oh, great, we've got I cursor on. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But first, we're going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation, Sports Board. Patrick? That's right, Megan. You join me live here for the final, the first annual Sports Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Eddie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an accuracy of 7, a danger rating of K, and a 12-month driving ban. Stryker's known for her signature move, the Orangi Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending, is Mr. Wingspan himself, Tommy, the fingernail Harris. <laughs> Just waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony is taking part. Still going on. And, uh, Striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brain. Stupid. All right, here she comes. Nice start there from Striker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Tommy. Using his arm. Oh, they're going for the. They're going for the. And not a bad shot there from uh, he from missed. Harris. I think they're meant to miss actually. <laughs> it's like my favourite football team. They're meant to miss, I think. She's gone to sort of throwing it under her legs. Uh, not bad, if you ask me. Dead away completely. To Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Football. Move back. Uh oh. Say that's fair. But what do I know? Oh no, and Harris is not going to be happy with that. That's Tommy not good. She's happy. For Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope that round two treats him a bit better. Uh, but first, of course, after the argument with the ref section, it's time to change ends. Of course, you've got to have an argument with the ref section. Changing off the ends. And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. Yeah, that, that's about right. Striker giving it large. Second round on Duble, Harris. Winter round two now with Harris. Okay, okay. we seem to have some sort of streaker on the pitch. Ah, uh -oh. 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 Uh, All right, we're back to him. I saw, and um, women's body. Yeah. All right, great. Okay, so back into round two now, uh, and how is absolutely determined to close that massive gap. Eddie Stryker. She's on. No, it's just some of the tightest play I've seen ever. Harris. Harris with the ball. Harris. And was that the foot of thumb screw? We haven't seen that since the heat. What a brilliant move. There you go. He missed nicely. Back to Stryker. Stryker. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. Of course, the ground sound. Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. Back to the ref. I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical mastery in this play here absolutely blooming, jaw dropping. And. He's checking on Harris. He's checking on Harris. Harris's neck or head. 
Jordan Harris is having an absolute Oh no! I think his hair moved. And after all, it is a game of two halves. Yeah. Uh, four rounds and seven sub jumps. But now, of course, it's time for the half time show. Sponsored by Wimington Switch. On my whistle, on my whistle. Nice piece of music here to start the half time show. Okay, another pass uh -oh. on the court here. We can only apologise for that. Um, Get on, Mark. To shield you from having to look directly at it. Um, is uh, running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all to see. Um, ah, ah. And uh, ruining what was shaping up quite the dance interlude there. Um, now he's thrusting himself Go to in, the ref. Uh, in Harris's face. Security Go to Ellie. No, no, no. Over. Ah, him. wrong one. Ah, not him. I cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get taken out now. Oh, no, 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 Ellie, no. Genitals flying around for all to see. Um, Really, if you ask me, back to early, up and Paris in time. And uh, out of there, uh, hopefully uh, taken away, never to be seen again. Final pose, <laughs> final pose. Oh boy, cannot be in the final pose. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because of science, we can't. Thank you. Ah, that's Thank true. You. Not without a, an axe or a drill, anyway. Not bad. Well, that ball boy's giving me the eye all day. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, striker there, not a great start. I didn't know she was going to move. Lost, I think, after all that swinging around. And we're Back over to, to Harris, I think. God, what I wouldn't give to be See that what he's got. Right, ladies. Tommy Harris. And he's going to... And it dribbles down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because, of course, if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. That's right. Ellie Stryker. Yeah, can we get this? And Stryker's gone for the animal bonus there, but of course, perhaps... And yes, Harris has counted with the... Oh, he's counted with the Tinker... Play, he's Tinkerbell. Look at her face, she is absolutely gutted. What a mud. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four bats. So, um, here we go. Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris. That's all right. That's all right. Not bad there. He threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good Very idea. Contact. Very clever there. Perhaps a little contact, a caution from the referee, who's being mm. to me a little bit harsh. Ellie Stryker. Ellie Stryker. And she's let the nuts get. No, Ellie. You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, oh, God. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, get them off. Um, no, uh, put them on even. Sort of, uh, uh, breasts and genitals fall to see. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, they, they no. Fall everywhere. No, right? no, 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 Yes, yes. We want our get Harris. Get to three. Bloody wasters. Absolute wasters. Get to Harris. Get to Ellie. They're off of her. Bloody hell. The chaos. Okay, right, we're with Harris. The final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris. It really could go in there at this point. Um, really high level play here from two absolute juggernauts of the sport. Okay. Oh, Let's go back to striker. Can she? Can she win? Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. About time, if you ask me. About time, if you ask me. Here she goes. She's uh, oh, juggling. It around juggling. And he's in a mouth. In a mouth like as if it was an egg. And now she's um. And she spat it out. She did the egg spit. So, uh, and she missed the bucket. Quite late on, illegal spit. Uh, illegal from spit. Oh no! Illegal she spit. To win it. On it like a car bonnet. On it like a car bonnet. And it's on the ball. Uh, Tommy Harris here having a bit of beef. It's the most exciting game I've ever seen. He's peeling it. it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, not sure if he had any potassium or what's going on today with Harris. And he's trying to have the banana. Right in the bucket. Oh, no. Move there from Harris. 
Unfortunately, that is the end. What a pathetic... There we go, Jeremy. That is over. How can he look his eight-year-old son in the face tonight? What a lump. He's devastated. Uh, he's the now to announce it to make sure it is all official. And there he is. Over he to the ref. In, please. And the winner of the first annual Sports Board Championship is... Who is it? Everyone! Once again, a win for everyone, uh, including me as my 15th win as well. Everyone's a winner, baby, uh, that's a fact. Tonight with my wife and children. Uh, another wonderful victory for me. Uh, here come the on site security to collect their medals. Uh, their sixth and seventh. Oh, 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 God. Um, what electricity going on? The uh, Sports Ball Championships. Uh, what more is there to say? I'm Patrick Bannon. Um, looking forward to celebrating tonight. Um, and all I always have to say, Jeremy, is back to you in the studio. Patrick Bannon there had an extraordinary final. Historic sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. <laughs> when we come back, <laughs> I'll be talking uh -oh. live with Prime Ministers Julie Storm's bad. and Peter Clement, who apparently have a big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. Line it up. Back. Fucking microphone shot me. What? Fucking microphone, just yeah, this is looking kind of Where's deadly too. The feed I... buttons. Everything okay? Oh, the mics are just trying to kill us now. Apparently, you'll be fine. You're unshockable. <laughs> I'm immune to your cheap flattery. I'm wearing you down. Again, <laughs> just heard from the chaps in maintenance that this storm is causing the odd power surge, and some of your controls might be a bit uh, dangerous. Now I know oh, wonderful! Tough, you can take the odd shock for the sake of a perfect news broadcast, but. Many in quick succession can stop the old ticker. I'm sure you'll make the right decisions. So Boost sorry out. about all the stuff that's here. Uh, seem to have sprung a leak. Well, uh, several, actually. If he gets shocked, they're going to gonna turn blue. Well, Mr. Minister, it's so good to see you again. Miss Wolf, your star seems to be in the ascendant. It's a great time to be alive. Too bloody right. Peter Clement. Megan Wolf. My, but that's a firm handshake you've got there. She's tougher than she looks. <laughs> <laughs> Am I here? Uh, here, with Mr. Clement on your left. Right you are, pet. <laughs> You'll see, Dan. Ten seconds, everybody. No, mine's five. Have you had a little Opening action? on Megan. Five, four, three... Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Welcome to the National Night in New Prime Ministers. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't believe much in time. very advanced. We're delighted to be here. Well, firstly, I should ask how you feel about the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Should we be worried? No, 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 you definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy anyway. But yes, it does seem that there are still some people we haven't been able to help. Mm. You know, whinges no. People who get to benefit ah. from the many advantages of the new future. And you know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there are some pissants who just don't know how to be happy. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can help. The door to my government is always open. Someone's dripping on me. But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts project. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Mm. Yes, your office briefed us that you have an announcement to make, but they were being surprisingly secretive about it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Megan. Oh, OK, it's not usually how it works, but... Uh... What scares you? I mean, really scares you? Ah, uh, oh... It's um... death. She's talking about death. We're all afraid of our deaths. It's part of being human. Sorry, are you saying that advance have cured death? <laughs> that would be a vote winner. Yep, that was definitely a drop there. But while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way to make it much less scary. And much less painful and much less expensive. Look, which is me close up camera? Oh, there? it's coming for me. When I was 13, me ma'am came and got me from school, he was for a white shot to have cut the time down. He'd collapsed that morning, so we'd all to say our goodbyes. White shot for a bit. Him, we were all frail and 
pale. Mm -hmm. I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Peter, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to go to the Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. He, oh. back door. he lived with us for nine miserable years after that. He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit right there in the lounge while we were watching football. He wouldn't even wait till half time. That sounds... Oh, um, it, it was awful. It was awful for us. But, and this is the point. It were awful for him. They could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade away. And he would beg her to turn off his breathing equipment at night, but she couldn't. Or she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the children as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's. Okay, there we are, switching. And now, no family will. Yeah, we're getting electrocuted this time. The health service is today opening the first of 300 new transition centres. The transition centres will handle everything for your last days. The legal, financial, medical, and emotional costs are all catered for and paid Bit for by shot. the government. So, even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when they. And that choice is important. This is a service only for people who choose it. For people who feel they've run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, mm, that's a cruel long, way of looking at it. humiliating decline. Are you okay? I, I, I don't know. I think I'm fried my asshole. Oh, we're still on the air, Peter. No, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. My apologies. Oh. Are, are you not worried that this new system might be open to abuse? In what way? Well, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I've got a sack to get. Can I get a little bit of help here, please? <laughs> that the older generation might feel somewhat. <laughs> Sorry, the that the older generation oh. might feel somewhat coerced. He's on par now. <laughs> oh. Final days eating gourmet food and drinking fine wine and luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of with a Please watch your language. <laughs> Oh, Don't get yourself sorted out. Right. We're launching a government information program tonight to tell your viewers everything they need to know. <laughs> you really do move at a point pace. Ooh. It's hard to believe you've yet to be an office a year. Oh, Megan. <laughs> We're only getting started. <laughs> and on that note, thank you so much for being here. Joan. Yes, um, that's all we have time for. This right? doesn't look good. Uh, thank you, let's go out to our guests. Um, congratulations to all the winners at the Sports Board Final. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. My name is Jeremy Donaldson. You can have a peaceful night. And we're out. Good job, everybody. I think I survived. Uh, I'll... Maybe not. I don't suppose there's any way this could be a, a good thing. It's my nephew, so we transitioned the moment I saw the leak. Wow. That was a great C. That wasn't good. C, D, and C. C, D, C. Center for Disease Control. Grade C. Received your full wages. Okay, so at least, at least the grade C still gets its full great wages. We're well off. Hey, this government's working good for us, and Neil's deals are going up because we're supporting them. Advance and Resist, or whatever it's called, are uh, both up. Channel 1 are uh, broken. Right, let's have a look at the rush, or the broadcast as it went out, shall we? We join Jeremy and the team. There's just time for a brief look at what's coming up later tonight on Channel 1. At 6.30, it's a brief history of Sports Board, where Patrick Bannon will be taking a look at the surprising Most exciting game the spectacularly race. popular new sport. That's followed by a repeat of the live National Sports Board final at 7.30pm. And again at 8.15pm. 9pm. Yeah, that, that's sports broadcasting, yeah. 
At 10.30, it's a world premiere of Channel One's television adaptation of smash hit school's musical, Hey, Friendship, a touching and relevant tale of a 13-year-old girl from a modern family trying to adapt to the horrors of life in the old school system. <laughs> it's another chance to view the sports board final at 11.45 before the weather and close down at half past midnight. But first, it's time for the National Nightly News with Jeremy Donaldson and Megan. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm Megan Wolfe. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. After three they months not of record breaking approval, we need to put them down. Could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? No, oh, we need to put them down. We're benefiting, benefiting from this government. We shall overcome. Trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Svorsborg and Horgensvord and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options. With two of the finest minds in science working together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to dry land. While both options are still on the table, support seems to be growing for a daring escape attempt. If a group of fungus experts can't fix the most advanced craft ever conceived by man, then who can? Like I said, get some oil, men on. As the last Mr. Snugglehugs is found and destroyed, we ask, how could we have been so blind? Fortunately, they'll destroy a comet as well. Wisely chose not to advertise Mr. Snugglehugs, and the subsequent disappointing sales turned good choice to be there. As only seven children were horribly injured by the lethal toy, how much worse could it have been? Thankfully, we'll never know. Julia Salisbury, who mobilised numerous government resources to recall the product immediately after the God, product look at that. Product. Today, it's done with it, it's done smoking. Mark, which must be earned by or is that just inside exploding out? ironclad guarantee of safety and... Table for two. Johnny Hansleaves and Tiffany Lamour were spotted having a private moment out at lunch today. The popular couple have certainly been on a roller coaster since they started dating late last year. And this image is sure to place them firmly back in the tablets. Could we be on the verge of the biggest celebrity wedding since professional wrestler Randy Grizzlenuts McFridge married his longtime tag team partner Tina Tiny Hands last year in a wrestling ring made entirely of cake? Is this one celebrated role model about to become the bad boy of sports? And radical ideas. In an attempt to put a wrestling ring made of cake. disaster behind them, Remington's fifth CEO, Sophia Remington, today announced a surprising new project that already has the markets raising an eyebrow. Known for taking risks and bold strategies, could the adventurous CEO be leading the business giant down a dark alley or taking it to a new probably. level of success? We understand no, the Mobile Orientation Operational Borrowing Service will be Moves. a new international travel system based around the construction of a major tunnel through the centre of the Earth. Sophia Remington claims it will make travelling from one side of the world to the other the matter of an afternoon. Geologists are concerned about the implications of digging a hole through the planet, while flat earthers claim it should be quite easy. With that exclusive prime ministerial interview coming up later. And our very own, and our very own Patrick Bannon live at the first annual sports board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National Night. Okay, that wasn't disastrous. That was just a headline song. That's the cultural affairs report that they hired, I guess. That Jeremy was objecting to at first. First tonight. While Advance is certainly proving popular with the majority of the country, who have seen their wealth and standards of living increase considerably, for some the transition has not been as pleasant. That's right, Megan. The formerly aristocratic members of our society have had to make major adjustments to come to terms with the new regime. Robin Short is in suburbia investigating rumours that these previously privileged people may be planning some kind of protest. Robin? Thanks, Megan. Oh, God, it sees people, these idiots. ...to talk to Wentworth and Penelope Somerset Bentley, who were relocated to the house you see behind me after Advance passed the assets and wealth... He can't be a rich British guy, he's got a chin. Tell me, how are you settling into your new lives? 
Well, quite frankly, Robin, we're not settling in at all. Oh, that's the neighbours are white waters. Well, it's simply untenable. I hope you'll forgive my language, but it's as steaming as a Wednesday hatch. Too much spatting. Steady now, Penelope. Sorry, Robin, my sister's under a lot of pressure. She had to dress herself this morning and she still has. No. My goodness, that must have been quite a shock. <laughs> she really struggles with ribbons, Robin. Well, at least you've been rehoused in a nice big house. Big house? <laughs> Dad has spatch only has one staircase. And the breakfast room and the dining room are the same bloody place. Imagine that, having all one's grub in one room. One room, Robin. So what would you say to the people that feel that your family has had it far too easy for far too long and that these redistributions are both fair and just? I hardly think... This is probably an accurate portrayal of the poor looking down on the rich. The, the rich looking down on the poor. But realistically, what can you we do? We don't have it good. Well, you've asked These a bloody yeah. question, Robin. Thank you, Wentworth. I wasn't the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Inquirer for no reason. I think our toilet butler was from Swinstead. Dear George, George. Oh, I wonder what happened to him. Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Daddy drank <laughs> the bodogs and he ran off into the woods. Oh, good times. Yeah, that's probably my last happy memory, Robin. Shooting your butler was Magic. the last happy memory. Well, what can you do? We will wise and rebel. We wage war on our revolting rulers with righteous words and rebellious writings. Our best guess in our quest for redress is to divest our breasts in an undressed pair just protest! Yeah. Oh, what's that? Daddy! I mean, Daddy, it's got a nice rhyming scheme. Don't do that. We can't show this on the news. Right, you bug Tally ho! <laughs> <laughs> Tilly, get the dog. Tilly's our mummy. She's proper oh, cracked oh, off too. Uh, well, at least you are showing some shame. Down with people. <laughs> Free at last! Oh. Somerset Bentley, glad to meet you. We will we bow. Wise up. This has started already. Nice sharp work, boy. Thanks, Daddy. He gets that from me, you know. Um, but, and forgive me, what are you trying to achieve here? To be fudging well heard, that's all. Oh, language, Penelope. We are news, <laughs> not rules. Sorry, Daddy. We want the world to realise we won't roll over and run away. We will revolt. We will rise again. Yes, we bloody well <laughs> will. Spaff and piff puff. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh, not good. Are you OK? Hey, Daddy, I've got you. Well, well, shut up and get Oh, I think he said in the... Jeremy. Megan, Botox. Is that Botox or Bollocks? I'm not sure. Movement takes one in the top <laughs> legs. It's back here I'll in the studio. I'm Robin then. Short, struggling surreptitiously in moderate hatchings. Thanks, okay, well, Robin. Well, that's certainly a story we want to be keeping an eye on, eh, Megan? Uh, speak for yourself there, Jeremy, but I've seen enough shaft work to last me a lifetime. I'm sure you have. But uh, can a naked protest movement ever really catch on? It doesn't seem like the way we do things in this country. But as I'm sure you're aware, Jeremy, this country is becoming a very different place. Yes, but yeah. seriously, who's going to run around naked in our weather? Oh, hopefully not you, yeah. Jeremy. Yes, well, there wouldn't be enough canvas for the slogans. <laughs> uh, when we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Final. All right, let's go on to an ad. This is Crazy Neil's crazy extra Neil. exciting bed and crazy cushion Easter extravaganza. We're going to give you crazy bed prices. You want just a mattress? We're going to ship them. They're water damage, and we don't mean a little light drizzle. We mean soaking. They're taking up space. This has got the crazy feel of an Easter Neil deal. We got beds, cushions, beds with cushions, beds without cushions, beds with curtains, bedside table, pictures you can put on your wall, cushions that when you lick them, they'll light up your life. A bed that helps you to levitate. Come on down. Down to Crazy Neil this Easter. Don't be lazy. Let's get crazy. If you want to sleep on your lawn? We've got flower beds. We have even got shrubbery. If you want to sling a hammock? We'll throw in the trees for free. You need a sleeping bag? We've got men's sleeping bags, boys' sleeping bags, couples' sleeping bags, sleeping bags you could sleep in upside down with just your feet out. We got beds you could sleep on on your front, back, head. You got piles? We got cushions for miles. Michelangelo spent all his time on his back painting because he couldn't afford a bed. And we say we're going to come down on prices so hard, they're going to look flatter than an elephant in a pancake throwing competition. It's an Easter deal. We an elephant in a pancake throwing competition. Okay. Ah! Neil got crazy. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. Coming up later.
And if anyone doesn't take... Oh, hang on. Got to carry on with that. Oops. We join Jeremy and the team. Uh, it's just time for a brief look at what's coming up later tonight on Channel One. Can I forward this? At 6.30, it's a brief history of sports board where Patrick Bannon will be taking a look at the surprising... <laughs> Gonna cut some of this out. Gonna get to where Crazy Neil was and then cut the stuff out. Anyone who doesn't think that an ad's as bad as Crazy Neil hasn't seen ads. I remember when I lived back in England for a couple of years, there was the bog off sale. Now, bog off, B O G O F F, in England is the same as F off, a slightly more polite version. Um, but in this case, it was buy one, get one free, B O G O F. Yeah, it was just loud and annoying as Crazy Neil. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. Nice to see they care. <laughs> You're absolutely I think I right, missed a lot Jeremy. of this. But first, Most we're going now dodging for electricity. Our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation, Sports Board. Patrick? That's right, Megan. You join me live here from the final of the first annual Sports Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Ellie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an accuracy of 7, a danger rating of K, and a 12-month driving ban. <laughs> Stryker's known for her signature move, the lanky hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending. It's Mr. Wing spanning the field, Tommy, pending. the finger now, Harris. Just waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony is taking part. Still going on. And, uh, go first. Striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia D -Robe. round earlier on by some margin. D -Robe. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the, the brawn and not the brain. Play, please. You know, that slapping ceremony, I wonder if that's uh, Jordan versus Reggie Miller. Good. Eddie Striker. Nice start there from Striker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Not a bad shot there from, uh, from Harris. Back to Stryker for shot number three. All right. She's gone to sort of throwing it under her legs. Uh, not bad, if you ask me. Is that perfect? Get away completely. To Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Football, move back. I'd say that's fair, but what do I know? <laughs> I have no idea either, so don't worry about it. Oh no, and Harris is. Oh, not you got your ball in! So, really, not a good start there for Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope the round two treats him a bit better. Uh, but first, of course, after the argument with the ref section, it's time to change ends. Now we have the ceremonial changing of the ends. And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. It makes total sense compared to some sports. Striker giving it large. Second round, in Dublé, Harris. Winter round two now with Harris. Okay, we seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. I uh, apologise if we broadcast any of that stuff. Um, she appears to have slogans across her breasts and arse. Um, uh, try and ignore all of that security. I'm sure we're going to take them out as soon as possible. Uh, apologise if uh, we. We broadcast any of that, as I said, um, we're going to get the situation resolved as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, to I caught fire, too much of this. And I'm struggling to follow, because um, uh, it's quite an eyesore, and um, women's body, yeah. All right, great, okay, so back into round two now, uh, and Harry's absolutely determined to close that massive gap. Eddie Stryker. You know, it's just some of the tightest play I've seen ever. 
Harris. And was that a fitted thumbscrew? We haven't seen that since the heats. What a brilliant move. Back to striker. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. The ground sound. Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical mastery in this play here absolutely blooming, jaw-dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. I'm not sure there's anything in his head, to be honest. Shopper, what a miserable start there for Tommy Harris. Uh, but he is a late bloomer, of course, the boys said that. And after all, it is a game of two halves. Uh, four rounds and seven sub -jumps. But now, of course, it's time for the half-time show. Sponsored by Rivington Smith. On my whistle, on my whistle. Nice piece of music here to start the half time show. OK, another posh poster to loose on the court here. We can only apologise for that. Um, we'll do our best to shield you from having to look directly at it. Um, he's uh, running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all to see. Um, and uh, ruining what was shaping up to be quite the dance interlude there. Um, now he's thrusting himself in, uh, in Harris's face. Security's on it. Uh, and the bucket has been knocked over! I cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. And he um, does not look happy. Taken out now. Um, uh, genitals flying around for all to see. Um, really, if you ask me, not Sunday morning television. Um, and uh, out of there, uh, hopefully uh, taken away, never to be seen again. Final pose, final <laughs> poses. Oh boy, cannot be in the final pose. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because yeah, of science, we can't. Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I mean, so you could use an axe, a drill, maybe a sword, I don't know. Okay. And a sledgehammer. Well, that ball boy's giving me the eye all the whole day. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, striker there, not a great start. Um, she looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. Back to Harris here. God, what I wouldn't give to be that ball. Am I right, ladies? Tommy Harris. And it dribbled down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because, of course, if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. Back to striker. <laughs> and striker's gone for the animal bonus there, but, of course, perhaps... And, yes, Harris has counted with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course, we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mud. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four bouts. So, um, here we go. I must admit, in 55 years, I've never really been defeated by a Kestrel. That's all right. Not bad there. He threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good no idea. No Very contact. clever there. Perhaps a little contact, a caution from the referee, who's being, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. Ellie Stryker. And she's let the nerves get to her. What the hell was that? You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, for God's sake. OK, like, I mean, this is a mess now. I, do, I don't know what I can be doing about this. Um, uh, I mean, there's sort of uh, uh, breasts and genitals for all to see. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, they, they're full of everywhere, aren't they? Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try and carry on. Um, the players are trying to carry on, but, of course, it's difficult because, um, because these protesters are... Uh, Hopefully we can get them taken off soon so we can carry on with the match. Oh, 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 hello, OK, hello. some nonsense is going on here. Yes, yes. We want our money Yes, back. very good. Take them away. <laughs> Bloody wasters. Absolute wasters. <laughs> oh, jog on! This is the mine round. It's an absolute bloody... OK, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? There you it? go. Mime round. Uh, nice imaginary shot there from... Uh, and you thought all the mimes should be locked um, up, huh? Really high-level play here from two absolute juggernauts of the sport. Hold. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. About time, if you ask me. She's uh, juggling it around from her hands. Um, interesting. 
and she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg, and now she's um, and she's spat it out. She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there, quite late on. Illegal spit. Uh, Illegal from spit. striker, but she's in Harris, it to win it. Harris's ball on it like a car bonnet. Uh, Tommy Harris here having a bit of beef. Banana. And he's peeling banana. it as if it banana. were a banana, banana, which is an interesting move. Um, not sure if he hasn't had his potassium or... Fruity. Today with Very fruity. And he's trying to have the banana with the ball! What it's in, in. he got it in the bucket. Oh, dear. Unfortunately, that is the end. What a pathetic... There we go, Jeremy. That is over. How can he look his eight-year-old son in the face tonight? What a lump. Uh, we just have to wait for the referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. Mm -hmm. Contestants in, please. And the winner of the first annual Sports Board Championship is... Everyone! Okay, the ref off the screen. Once again, a win for everyone, uh, including me as my 15th win in the Sports Board Championship. Um, I'm going to be celebrating tonight with my wife and children. Uh, another wonderful victory for me. Uh, here come the on-site security to collect their medals, uh, their sixth and seventh respectively. Um, <laughs> and thanks again for watching the uh, Sports Ball Championships. Uh, what more is there to say? I'm Patrick Bannon. Um, looking forward to celebrating tonight. Um, and all I've always left to say, Jeremy, is back to you in the studio. Patrick Bannon there at an extraordinary final. Historic sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. <laughs> when we come back... Ow! I'll be talking live with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, who apparently have a big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. Oh, like the process is where big some things you would want to miss. Are you worried about being a burden on your children? Are you scared of a long, painful decline in your final years? Of being trapped in your own body as it slowly wastes away? Or losing your grip on reality? Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Now you can take back control of your swan song at one of the health service's new transition centers. Come and stay for a week. Enjoy gourmet food from our world-class kitchens or collect your thoughts in our beautiful gardens. And when it's time, at the end of your stay, you'll pass on painlessly, surrounded by those you love, in comfort and luxury. Isn't that what we all deserve at the end of a... The execution centres then. Our expert legal team will help you make all those difficult arrangements. And our oh, sure, I can support this part of the advanced government. Your dependence through the grieving process. I mean, I do believe in your right to choose your own life. Are carried out efficiently in and every way, but in, all absolutely. Think you don't have a right to choose if you change your mind. Your health service, your tea. That's a problem. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Welcome to the National Nightly News, Prime Ministers. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't believe much in titles. It doesn't seem very advanced. <laughs> We're delighted to be here. Well, firstly, I should ask how you feel about the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Should we be worried? Oh, no. No, you definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy anyway. <laughs> but yes, it does seem that there are still some people we haven't been able to help. Mm. You know, Windows. Did me get an electric uh, that actually an electric shock actually affect this? The new future. And you know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there's some <laughs> who just don't know how to be happy. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can help. The door to my government is always open. So much dripping on me. But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts project. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Mm. Yes, your office briefed us that you have an announcement to make, but they were being surprisingly secretive about it. Yeah, <laughs> Let me ask you a question. I'm not surprised. Oh, OK, it's not usually how it works. But <laughs> what scares you? I mean, really scares you? Ah, uh, oh. It's um... death, Pet. She's talking about death. We're all afraid of our deaths. It's part of being human. 
sorry, are you saying that advance have cured death? <laughs> that would be a vote winner. Yep, that was definitely a drop there. <laughs> but while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way to make it much less scary. And much less painful and much less expensive. Look, which is me close-up camera? Oh, there. sorry, yes, it's, it's camera four right there. When I was 13, me mam came and got me from school. He had to go to the hospital. Me granddad, he'd collapsed that morning. So we'd all to say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him. He were all frail and pale. And I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Petey, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I love. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, he were back home. He lived with us for nine miserable years after that. He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a sh right there in the lounge while we were watching football. <laughs> he wouldn't even wait till I Could have left the bloody lounge, shouldn't you? That sounds... Oh, um... it, it was awful. Give him some privacy. It was awful for us. But, and this is the point. It were awful for him. He could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade away. And he would beg her to turn off his breathing equipment at night. But she couldn't. Or she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the children as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. And now no family will have to. No. The health service is today opening the first of 300 new transition centres. The transition yeah, centres just sold the ad for them. everything for your last days. The legal, financial, medical and emotional costs are all catered for and paid for by the government. So even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when they choose. Except to say I get up and you can't change your mind. Yes. This is a service only for people who choose it. For people who feel they run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline into an Well, so I get the feeling that they're going to be pressured, as was said. I don't know. I believe in their right to make that choice, but also to turn that choice around and not be pressured as well. Are you not worried that this new system might be open to abuse? In what way? Sorry, sorry, I got zapped again. Can I get a little bit of help here, please? <laughs> that the older generation might feel somewhat... <laughs> that one was massive. Right, no. That was the curse. That, uh, sorry, that the, that the older generation oh. might feel somewhat coerced. <laughs> coerced into spending their final days eating gourmet food and drinking fine wine and luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of... Oh, my grandmother with a rusty twi- so Please watch your language. Go get yourself sorted out. Right. We're launching a government information film tonight. It should tell your viewers everything they need to know. <laughs> you really do move at a breathless pace. It's hard to believe you've yet to be an officer here. Breathless pace, pages. not breathtaking, breathless. <laughs> We're only getting started. <laughs> Like, if you're breathless, you can't generally move Thank fast. Thank you both so much for being here. Jeremy. Right, yes, um, that's all we have time for tonight. Our thank yous go out to our guests. Um, congratulations to all the winners at the Sports Board Final. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. My name's Jeremy Donaldson. National Nightly News. Do you suffer from benign prostate enlargement? I'm Tommy the Fingernail Harris, sporting legend. I've got it all. Four world championships, two cars, a bidet, and an enlarged prostate gland. Oh, Charlotte's having it all, Your but okay. prostate is a small gland about the size of a cherry tomato located between your penis and your wee bag. If the prostate becomes enlarged, it can put pressure on the bladder. This can cause trouble starting to pee. Okay. And it can cause laundry-based trouble between you <laughs> and your she-demon of an ex-wife. Wow. There's no problems much. Prostate in your bum. Well, sorry. 
Me and the doctors, we don't know. But I can tell you, as you get older, your body changes. And that's okay. If you're worried about your swollen bum sack, book an appointment for God's sake. Mm. Procedure is easy, it's quick, and it's not gay. <laughs> I'm Tommy the Finger now. Yeah, because that's what you should worry about. Oh, God. Rectums. Check them. That's totally what you should worry about. Tommy the Fingernail Harris. No thank you Tommy, not with you! Alright, back we go. Now we'll have a look at the, what went on in the background. The Tempest. Tempest pre-roll. Play. Oh, how's it going with Steve? Why are all men such pricks? That one, eh? Apparently he has a complicated relationship with his faith. No. Sorry, are you saying he chose his imaginary <laughs> friend in the sky? Ooh! I don't know why I talked to you. You're probably just a really awful date. Ten seconds, everybody. Like I said, all of you. Did your personality actually slip out? Pricks. Go oh, five, God! Four. Boom. Three. Right, sequence one. The Somerset Bentley. Not sure there's anything in the uh, Russians that on this. exclusive Prime Ministerial interview coming up later. Oh, hang on. There we are. Thirty seconds back. Did you feel that? I just felt a drip on my head. Makeup. Jenny, is it raining? Only in the city. It's bloody lovely in suburbia. It's never lovely in suburbia. That's true. It's a lie they all tell themselves because they're so I grew up in the suburbs. Really? I always assumed you'd grown up in the wild. Because I'm so oh. fierce. Because I watched you eat. Ten oh. seconds, everybody. Make her! Only slightly creepy. We still need to get a room. We're going in five, four, three. Suburbia investigating rumours that these previously privileged people Anything may there. be planning some kind of protest. Robin? Thanks, Megan. I'm here in moderate hat. No, no, that's about it for this one, I think. No, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wind back, wind back. So we can see what's going on while she's broadcasting. Thanks, Megan. I'm... <laughs> Right, she's muted, we can see what's going on there. <laughs> Why do you find these people? Do you know what? That's enough. That's enough. Just enough. Good. Uh -huh. Right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Mocking the accent. I don't blame them. <laughs> yeah, the posh twats. These are mocking. <laughs> yeah, bad take, I'd say. <laughs> when's tomorrow tomorrow? Mm. Same way. <laughs> Alright, I think we can skip this one. Let's stop that and go on to sports board. Takes us one from the studio. I don't think there is actually. I don't think there's anything for the studio in this one. Well, that's what it says. 
Yes, I understand that, but I always say welcome back. I think we should just keep it as it is. Well, of course you do. I've got one hack line. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't write it, Jeremy. That's all right, fine. Jenny, there's nothing wrong with the auto cue. Ten seconds. Oh, I just felt a drip again. Have they not fixed this? I want to see us fry. It's good for the ratings. Five, <laughs> four, three. You should talk three. for yourself. What about me? Yeah, because this is going to, yeah, because that's going to go on spot, spot like that. Uh, we've just got the, the initial complaints from them. I think we can stop. We might not carry on doing the rushes, actually. Don't seem to add that much as I thought they might. So oh, sorry about all these buckets. Sure. We uh, seem to have sprung a leak. Well, uh, several, actually. You're going to need a whole new lining up there. Triple sealed, I shouldn't wonder. We'll look into it. Minister, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> Miss Wolf, your star seems to be in the ascendant. It's a great time to be alive. Too <laughs> bloody right. Peter Clement. Megan Wolf. My, but that's a firm handshake you've got there. <laughs> She's yeah. tougher than she looks. <laughs> <laughs> Am I here? Uh, here, with Mr Clement <clears throat> on your left. Right you are, pet. <laughs> You'll see, Dump. Ten seconds, everybody. No, mine's fine. Have you had a little accident? Cheeky cow. Five, <laughs> four, three. All right, and welcome that's back. I am delighted. It. It's just a pre-show, I think, on those. All right. So let's continue and get into Alex's life. Oh, or maybe not. We're back on broadcast by the look of it. Alex, oh, thank God you're alive. Yeah, that's not the uh, Alex's life part, so we'll finish there. A uh, quicker one today. Anyway, hit the like, comment, and subscribe if you want the channel to grow, and I'll see you next time when we'll see what happened after I got electroshocked.